In this video, we're going to sh show you how to install the Comfy UI Manager. This is an updated video and we're actually using a different version of Comfy UI. This is a different installation of Comfy UI. We've already got the manager installed here. So I'm going to show you how the manager works in case you haven't seen it before. The manager resides in a little button here in the command window or in the command con in the control panel. And then we click that open. It has a lot of features, including allowing us to update everything and to update Comfy UI. Now the Comfy UI manager is a really powerful extension, it allows us to manage other extensions and we can install and manage them using the manager. Uh, I probably use the update feature more often than anything else. We can also restart. Now the Comfy UI manager needs to be first of all installed and we're going to install it, but I want to also maintain a strong emphasis on security in this updated installation guide. Now to install the Comfy UI manager, you need to make sure that Comfy UI is not running. So to do that, control C will stop the server, hit Y to terminate the bad job. And you go back to your original input where you are running Comfy UI. Now with our focus on security, I want to give you guys some confidence to use the uh, Comfy UI manager to install ex extensions without feeling too much trepidation about the risks. So we know already that hackers are targeting stable diffusion, but we've already got some lessons and security measures that we can apply. And among these lessons and security measures, we've got two important ones. The first one is avoid pirated or suspicious software, especially from untrusted sites. And the second one, carefully vetting custom nodes and extensions before installing. Custom nodes are basically extensions. If you use Automatic 11.11, you probably call them extensions. Now we're going to go ahead and see how to install the Comfy UI Manager, which itself is a custom node. So you will learn how to install a custom node, and then we'll see how we can use that custom node to manage other custom nodes. Now I'm going to give you a link to the Comfy UI Manager on GitHub. And what we need to do is to go to the code section and we're going to install it in a specific way that you can use for other custom nodes as well. The technique I'm going to use for this one is to go down to the web address for the Comfy UI Manager. And we're just going to click here. What this will do is it will give us a green tick mark. There we are. That means we've copied that address. We now need to go into the command prompt and let me show you how to do that. So we're inside of Windows now and we're going to be working in Windows to install the custom node that controls the, uh, the, the, the Comfy UI manager. What we want to do is to make sure that Comfy UI is not running. I've already mentioned that. And then we're going to go into the main Comfy UI folder. So I'm just going to double click there and I'm going to double click on Comfy UI. We're going to go into the folder custom nodes and this is where we install the custom nodes. Now to do that, we'll open up a command prompt window. So I'm going to go to the address bar, type in CMD. That will open up a command prompt and the command prompt window will open up in the right folder. So what we now need to do is to type in git clone and then we can paste that address. And to do that, you can just right click and it will paste the address that we copied earlier. Hit enter and it will now start installing. Now it didn't take too long at all. And you can see we've now got the Comfy UI extension, ex Comfy UI manager uh, extension within the com custom nodes folder. Now if we go and run Comfy UI, let me go up and let's get this thing started. What you'll notice as it's running, it will run a security scan. That's important because that's making sure that there's nothing weird going on with the stuff that we've installed. We should now have the manager installed. And once it's all started up, we can go ahead and click on manager. Now, if we want to update Comfy UI in future, we can update Comfy UI. We can fetch updates and we can update all. Update all is probably the most useful command. And sometimes you'll need to restart this or restart the server in order to make sure that any updates that you've taken on board are actually applied. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time you restart. So quite often, if I'm installing a custom node, I like to keep an eye on the command prompt window. Now, one of the things I like is that if we go into the custom nodes manager 
I'm just going to type in security and you can see on some of the nodes, we actually have a security warning. It's telling us that some of these nodes have got potential security risks. And this one here has got another security risk. So this is a really fantastic custom node. It's an extension that allows us to learn quite a lot about other extensions and to actually install them and to uninstall them. Now, if you look at one of my installations of Comfy UI, typically I've got three, five, six, 10 custom nodes. And if we take a look at how many custom nodes are available, let me get rid of this. It is over a thousand nodes that are available. The one thing that you probably don't want to do is to install all of the nodes or a hundred nodes or don't go crazy with this. This is not, this is not automatic 1111. We want to keep everything nice and clean and fast. And the more custom nodes you install, not only do, are you taking on more risks because we don't know which ones might have some dodgy code, but you're also slowing down your Comfy UI. So I try to, to install just a few. What we'll see here is that the Comfy UI manager is actually one of the, one of the extensions and we can, we can update it. We can uninstall it. Uh, we can actually see who's the author. And if you click on this guy here, it will take you to the GitHub page where this is hosted. That's a very useful feature. Let's see control net. You can see here, there are quite a lot of control nets. Control nets are a really important part of Comfy UI. These are probably the custom nodes that control the, the, the control nets. Now there are sometimes these little warnings and these little warnings sometimes are nodes. Sometimes they are warnings or alerts. Now this is just a note telling you how you should use this particular custom node. We have got the ability to set previews so you can actually see your, your images as they form. And if you have a fast computer, we could go for TASD. And, and if I run a prompt, hopefully that's going to run properly. What you'll find is that we now get a preview of whatever is brewing inside of Comfy UI. Another very useful feature is the ability to install cus missing custom nodes. These sort of appear as big red blanks on any workflow. And there are quite a lot of features here. So not, not all of them do I actually use, but the ones that I use the most are probably update all and update Comfy UI. And I prefer to use this method of updating the other custom nodes as well as uh, Comfy UI. Now Comfy UI also has a feature to allow, to allow us to install models. And I almost never use this feature. And that's because although it's very good at installing these models and getting you up and running, it does have this problem where sometimes you don't really know where the models are. So I prefer to install the models manually myself. Now, installing custom nodes adds a huge amount of functionality. It also multiplies the risks. So I try to keep the number of custom nodes that I've installed very, very small. As you can see, I've more than one version of custom or of Comfy UI, and I tend to, I tend to install just the custom nodes that I need for a particular workflow in one version of Comfy UI. Now the Comfy UI workplace also has a lot of its own features. So for instance, I can go ahead and change the link render mode to spline. Let's close that. And that will change the way the links actually appear on the screen. So there's a lot of features that are inside of Comfy UI. And there are a lot of features that are available with the manager. And there are a lot of like, for instance, the preview, and there are also features that are available as you install custom nodes. I would say the most important thing for your own safety, for the ability to run Comfy UI very quickly is to make as much use as you can of the core. The core is Comfy UI, the settings that you've got here, get familiar with some of these. They can, you can change the appearance. You can make it Nord. And you can change things using the settings inside of Comfy UI. That's probably the safest way of working. That's probably the fastest way of working. And then when you can't achieve something using the core features, then look for the manager. I would always install the manager as a starting point because I think it is such a useful custom node and it is very well maintained. But apart from that, I try to limit the number of custom nodes that I have installed in every edition of 
Comfy UI and I have multiple versions of Comfy UI running on my system and I tend to have different workflows. So I sort of match the custom nodes for different workflows. That's basically it for this guy here. We're going to have a little bit more on security. You may have seen the security videos already. If not, I will definitely link to that so you can see some tips on improving security. Custom nodes do involve quite a lot of risk. You don't want to install all of them that you come across. And if you do install quite a lot, make sure you've got very, very strong uh, security measures in place. Pixavert now offers a range of courses in generative AI, including a beginner's guide to stable diffusion and other courses in generative AI, including SDXL and Comfy UI. If you're interested, use the link in the description to enroll and get started on a new direction.